I'm here representing the Long Beach Japanese Cultural Center. Now, I know I don't look cultural, but <laughs> anyway, I'm the president of the community center, of the cultural center there, and we would like to honor Trace for, I don't know how many years have you been there, since you're a kid, right? Yeah, since he's been a kid, he's been there active. He's done the mural, he's done the signings outside. Since I've been there, I've seen him weekly, just about. So anyway, uh, this is an appreciation of all years of service, and thank you very much, Trace. Well, pretty overwhelming, Antonio. It's, it's really, uh, it's really special. I appreciate it. Yeah, every, you know, the um, everyone for coming out and showing their support. It's really wonderful. Yeah. I've been an artist all my life as a child, but I just never knew it until I was about 21, 22 years old, and. Well, well, that's because I could figure out that when I went to college, I couldn't do anything else. <laughs> I took an art class and, hey man, this is pretty easy. Um, so I continued with art and, and made it to, to college. Uh, so from there, I went to um, uh, Japan. I studied in Japan. I worked with a, a master potter and a, and a master sculptor. Uh, stone, he actually, he, he carved stone. And I, and I was his assistant. And I also, um, I did that for about 32 months. and then. Um, I studied with uh, Marguerite Wildenheim. She's a, a renowned uh, Bauhaus uh, potter from the Bauhaus. And she was, when I studied with her, she was my, already in her uh, 70s. Uh, but that was a wonderful experience and it was, uh, she had a workshop of only uh, 13 students and I was fortunate to be one of the 13 for a couple of summers with her. And from there I just kind of um, lived the life of an artist, you know, whatever that means, you know. I just. Uh, did whatever I could and, and experienced as much as I could. Uh, Pacific Wind Art Sculpture Garden is, is um, it was, the land itself was a nursery. When I was growing up, it was a, uh, a retail nursery my, my folks owned. My folks were merchants and, and uh, they started their nursery business in 53, I believe. And, uh, and I was there when I was eight years old, I remember uh, starting to work at the nursery. I was, I was uh, actually, I, I worked there ever since from there to uh, every day. Every day would, I'd come home and, and I would have to go to the nursery and help out. And, and as my brothers would also have to do that. That was just what we did. And um, uh, my um, parents, after they retired, it, it kind of went dormant. It, it was, um, it was owned by, the business was run by a couple of other people and then it went, and then uh, it just went dormant and it was vacant for about 15 years and uh, my friend Dixie Swift asked me if I would want to st uh, be a supervisor with kids, uh, at-risk youth, and to teach them how to glaze on tile because she had a, a terrific idea about putting uh, tiles in bathrooms in, at the public parks and so I said sure I'd do that, you know, let's do it. and. Um, uh, that that was a wonderful experience. We we I did over I designed over 90 pro probably about 94 tiles, 94 murals, um, ceramic mural tiles, and then we had my crew. I called my crew. We we uh, I taught them how to glaze, and after for three summers, um, we we completed about 90 plus uh, murals in 16 different uh, public parks in Long Beach. That's how actually that's how actually how it started. It, it just started with the project, and I continue to I continue to keep it open. And I found it a a a a place where I can make sculptures and um, landscape with with um, indigenous California natives, and to educate and help um, anybody who wants to come by and look at art. And hopefully, what I'm 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 really working on making art that's. I would say high-end art, where, where things that you don't normally see, maybe in galleries, and I wanted to bring that type of art into the community, for the community, because a lot of the kids in the community in Pacific, um, Martin Luther King and 21st Street, they don't have the opportunity to see such art, and I wanted to make it available to them.